Hello and welcome to the computer lab. So today's video I am going to show you how to create a transparent background when drawing in Google's AutoDraw. If you're used to that program you'll know already that uh, when you do a quick sketch and convert it into one of uh, the clip arts that Google converts it to, uh, then when you go to export it as a PNG you will notice that it is um, uh, exported with a white background and if you're putting that into a document or a flyer or a post that you're working with uh, you need it to be a transparent background so if you're looking how to do that for free on the Mac using the inbuilt programs then please do carry on watching <laughs> Okay, so let's look at the problem. When you draw something in Google's Auto Draw and create the clip art, it surrounds the clip art on a white sort of work area, as you can see in the example I have on the screen at the moment. So what we want to do is remove the white surrounding background from the actual clip art image in Auto Draw and then export that as a PNG. They already export as a PNG but it leaves the white background on so we're going to look at how you get rid of that white background and then you can use that clip art individually in a different document or something like that. Uh, hopefully Google will implement uh, the change so you can export it just as the clip art image but when this video is being made which is uh, January 2019 Google haven't implemented that change yet in Auto Draw. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is open auto draw up and let's get a drawing done. So my artist skills aren't really up to much, so we'll do our best here, but I'm going to try and draw maybe a dinosaur or a giraffe. We'll see what it thinks of my drawing in a minute. So we will go and just sketch away. If you've not used auto draw before, you just sketch an image um, from whatever you as roughly as you like. And then auto draw will try and guess what you're drawing. So I'm trying to draw a giraffe, like I say, or a dinosaur. And along the top now, it's already suggesting. So it looks like it's got my giraffe. All the drawing is not up to much in the middle. Um, it's got multiple things I can pick from. Um, I've got the giraffe there, or I've got a giraffe's head here. Uh, but we'll go for the uh, the giraffe on the left there, and that's what we're going to work with. Uh, like I said, we could pick one of these other ones, uh, but to keep it simple and keep it nice and clean, we'll just use this one. We'll give this uh, clip art some colour as well. So I'm just going to go to the fill tool, make him yellow, and maybe put some black dots on. Like I said, I'm not, this isn't a tutorial for auto draw. Uh, it's quite simple to use, uh, but I uh, just want to just make it so it's got a bit of character. So when we do export him, you can see what's going on. And like I said, uh, hopefully Google will implement the changes and allow us to export the pure PNG image without the white background. But um, like I said, when this video was made, which is January 2019, uh, they have not implemented it yet. So we need to remove this white background, this white piece of paper uh, that's on the image, the white work area. Uh, so we need to first go up to the uh, three dots in the top left hand corner, click on them. Then we need to click on download. When we click on download, it downloads the image straight away to the machine. And like I said, this is purely for the Mac. Um, I will do the Windows one as well. But um, if you want to go straight to the image, you can double click on it and this will or should open in preview, but I will just show you how to do uh, open it in preview so we don't get any mistakes. So I'd minimize that window and then we need to open Finder up. Let's close that back down because it is still open. Well, download it again and then show in finder so then we can go straight to the image okay so we've got the image here so we need to right click on the one that we want and that was the first one that i did so i'll do it with that one we need open with preview like so that should be a default program on the mac but it's just in case uh, you're not that's why i showed you how to find it within finder okay so we have preview open and as you can see the gray areas on the side you can see that we have the white work area in the middle so we need to click on the markup toolbar up at the top right hand side and then go across onto the left hand side and then click on the instant alpha tool click on that and the idea here is to pick the area that you want to be removed and as you left click and drag on the area it will fill all with a red color uh, and that is the area that we're going to remove and cut out from the image as you left click and drag it will fill and take off and add to the image so i've left click so it's, i'm happy with that but if i left click and drag a little keep it a little bit more you'll see it tries to remove the middle of the draft color 
that's why I gave it a bit of color just so we can see this difference. So at this point, we need to just make sure that we're happy, we're refined, let go of the left click button and we get all the marching ants going around the image. And now we need to go up to edit and then to cut and this will cut out the white part of the image. Um, and that is now removed from our clipper art. So we need to now go to file, top corner again, export, call it whatever you want. I've already created a folder called create PNG just for this video. And I'll just call my drawing, my drawing at one. It's going into that folder. The format is PNG, click on save. And we're okay to get rid of that one. And now we need to find the image that we've just saved. So mine was called my drawing one. And just to show you the transparency, you can see there through the uh, box, if I drag it around, you can see the background behind. So the white box uh, work area has now been removed. So now this image is uh, okay to use to drag into say a Word document or um, a photo editing program. So I use Affinity Photo, so we will just open that up. Uh, and I've just got a work area with a black background just to show you how the transparency looks uh, and obviously that the white background has been removed. So let's make that a bit smaller. So that's my work area. This is my image that we have just created and removed the white background from. Just gonna drag it in, let me just resize it. Uh, and there you can see it's uh, the white background's totally removed and we have a nice PNG that we can work from. And if I just try and find the original image uh, that we had before we converted, I'll just drag that into my work area and you can see that's what it would have looked like before we removed the background. Okay, so that's it. That's how to remove the white background from the work area in Google's AutoDraw for free on your Mac using preview and how to create a PNG on your Mac for free. If you like the video, please do hit the thumbs up the like button below. Also, please do subscribe to my channel. All the subscriptions always help my small channel. Also, if you'd like to see any other video, please leave us any suggestions in the comments box below. And thanks again for watching the computer lab.